Hi guys, I'm back. Today I'm going to be in Hosea 9-13, Proverbs 9 and Psalm 101. Let's get started. Israel, don't be joyful. Don't be glad as the other nations are. You haven't been faithful to your God. You love to get paid for being a prostitute. Your pay is the grain at every session floor. But soon there won't be any grain or wine to feed you. There won't even be any fresh wine. You won't remain in the Lord's land. If rain, you will return to Egypt. You will eat unclean food in Assyria. You won't pour out wine offerings to the Lord. Your sacrifices won't please him. They will be like the bread people eat you when someone dies. Everyone who eats those sacrifices will be unclean. They themselves will have to eat that kind of food. They can't bring it into the Lord's temple. What will you do when you're a point of peace comes? What will you do on the Lord's special days? Some of you will escape without being difficult, destroyed. But you will die in Egypt. Your bodies will be buried at Memphis. Weeds will cover your treasures of silver. Thorns will grow up in your tents. The time when God will punish you is coming. The day when he will judge you is near. I want you to know this. And you have committed many sins. And you hate me very much. That's why you think the prophet is foolish. You think the person the Lord speaks through is crazy. The people of Ephraim, the prophet, along with my God, is warning you of danger. But you set traps for him everywhere he goes. You hate him so much. You even wait for him in God's house. And you sunk deep, very deep into sin. Just as your people did at Gibeah long ago. God will remember that you were saved. They have done. Uh, He will punish them for their sins. The Lord says, When I first found Israel, it was, it was like finding grapes in the desert. When I saw you people of Lunker, it was like seeing the early on a picture. But then they went to Baal They gave themselves to that shameful god named Baal. They became as evil as the god they loved. Ephraim's greatness and glory will be gone. It will fly away like a bird. Women will no longer have children. They will no, not be able to get pregnant. I suppose they do have children, Then I will kill every one of them. How terrible it will be for them when I turn away from them. Ty is played in a pleasant place, and so is Ephraim. And so, but the Assyrians will kill Ephraim's children. What, Lord, what should you do to Ephraim's people? Give them women whose babies die before they are born. Give them women whose breasts have no milk. The Lord says, my people did many evil things in Gilgal. That is why I hated them there. They committed many sins, so I will drive them out of my land. I will not love them anymore. All, my, all their leaders refuse to obey me. Their frame is like a worthless land. Its roots are dried up. It does not produce any food. Suppose their frame is evil, have children. Then I will kill the children they love so much. My God will turn his back on his people. They have not obeyed him, so they will wander among other nations. Israel is like a spreading fire. They produce fruit for themselves. As they grew more food, they built more altars. As their land became richer, <clears throat> they made more beautiful. The they made more beautiful the <clears throat> the sacred stones. They wish their hearts are dishonest. So now they must pay for their sins. The law will tear down their altars. They will destroy their sacred stones. The sacred stones. Then they'll say, we don't have a king. And that's because we didn't have any respect for the Lord. <clears throat> suppose we did have a king. Did have a king. <clears throat> what, what could he do for us? Uh, they, <coughs> they make a lot of promises. They make agreements among themselves. They make promises they don't mean to keep. So court cases spring up like poisonous weeds in a plowed field. The people who live in Samaria are filled with fear. They are afraid for their god that looks like a calf. They are afraid it will be carried off from Beth Aven, that evil town. They will mourn over it. So were the priests who led them to worship it. The priests were full of joy because their statue was so glorious. But it will be captured. But it will be captured and taken far away from them. It will be carried off to Assyria. The people of Ephraim will be forced to give it to their great king, to the great king. They will be dishonored. Israel will be ashamed of its agreements with other nations. Samaria's king will be destroyed. It will be like a twig swept away by a river. The high places where Israel worship of, worshipped other, <coughs> other gods will be destroyed. 
<sighs> That's where they sinned against the Lord. The ones in me to grow up. He'll cover the altars. Then the people will say to the mansion, Cover us. He'll say to the hills, Fall on us. The Lord says, It's us. You have done evil things ever since your people sinned at Gibeon long ago. And you are still doing what is evil. War will come again to those who sinned at Gibeon. I'll punish to them when I want to. <laughs> Nations will gather together to fight against them. They have put them in chains because they have committed so many sins. Ephraim was a well, was like a well-trained young cow. It loved to thresh prey. It loved to thresh prey. So I will put a yoke on its pretty neck. It will make Ju Ephraim do hard work. Judah must also must plow. So all the people of Jacob must break up the ground. Your hearts are as hard as a field that is not being plowed. If you change your ways, you will produce good crops. So plant the seeds of doing what is right. Then you will harvest the fruit of your faithful love. It is time to seek the Lord. When you do, he will come and show his blessings on you. But you have planted the seeds of doing what is right. So you have harvested the fruit of your evil conduct. You have... <coughs> You have had to eat the fruit of your life. You have trusted in your own strength. You have depended on your many soldiers. And the roar of battle will come against you. All your forts will be completely destroyed. It will happen just as Shalman destroyed Beth Arbel in a battle. Others and their children were smashed on the ground. People of Bethel, that will happen to you. You have, you have committed far too many sins. When the time comes for me to punish you, the king of Israel will be completely destroyed. The war continues. The Lord continued, When Israel was a young nation, I loved them. And I chose to bring my son out of Egypt. But the more I called out to Israel, the more, the more they went away from me. They brought sacrifices to the statues of the gods that were named Baal, and they burnt incense to him. I tore a frame to walk. I took them up in my arm, but they did not realize I was the one who took care of them. I led them with kindness and love. I always treat them like a person who lifts a little child to their cheek. I bent down and fed them, but they refused to turn away from their city, so they will return to Egypt, and Assyria will rule over them. The sword will flash in their city. They will destroy the prophets who teach life. He will bring an end to their planet. <coughs> My people have made up their minds to turn away from me. Even if they call me the most high God, I'll certainly not honor them. The Lord continues. People of Ephraim, how can I give you up? He said, how hard can I? How can I hand you over to your enemies? Can I destroy you as I did the town of Adma? <coughs> can I treat you like the boy? My heart is stirred inside. It is filled with pity for you. I will not be so angry with you anymore. I will not completely destroy you again. <coughs> After all, I am God. I am not a mere man. I am the Holy One among you, and I will not direct my anger to, against their sins. I will roar like a lion against my enemies. Then the Lord's people will follow him. When he rules, his children will come home trembling with fear. They will return from the west. They will come from Egypt trembling like sparrows. They will return from Assyria, flying in like doves. I will sell you again in your house, and as this floor. The people of Ephraim tell me nothing but lies. Israel has not been honest with me, and Judah continues to wander away from God. They have deserted the faithful Holy One. The people of Ephraim look to others for help. It's like chasing the wind. The wind they keep chasing is hot and dry. They tell more and more lies. They are always hurting others. They make a peace treaty with Syria to send all oil to Egypt to get help. The Lord is bringing charges against Judah. He will punish Jacob's evil because of how they act. He will pay them back for the evil things they've done. Even before Jacob was born, he was holding on to his brother's heel. When he became a man, he struggled with God. At Peniel, he struggled with the angel and won. Jacob wept and begged for his blessing. God also met with him at Bethel. He talked with him there. He is the Lord God who rules over all. His name is the Lord. People of Jacob, you must return to your God. You must hold on to love and do what is right. You must trust in your God always. You are like a traitor who uses dishonest scales. You love to cheat others. You grow our friend. You brag. We are very rich. We've become wealthy, and no one can prove we sin to gain all this wealth. The Lord says, I have been the Lord your God ever since you came out of Egypt, but I will make you live in tents again. That is what you did when you celebrated the Feast of Booths in the desert. They spoke to the prophets. They saw many visions. I gave you warnings through them. The people of Gilead are evil. They aren't worth anything. Gilead's people sacrifice bulls to other gods. Their altars will become like piles of stones on a plowed field.
Um, Jacob ran away to the country of Aaron. There Israel sent Laban to get a wife. He took care of sheep to pay for it. The prophet Moses brought Israel up from Egypt. The Lord used him to take care of them, but Ephraim and people have made the Lord very angry. That the Lord will hold them accountable for the blood they've spilled. They'll pay them back for the shameful things they've done. <coughs> when the tribe of Ephraim spoke, the other tribes trembled with me. Ephraim was honored in Israel, but it's <coughs> people sinned by worshipping them, so they were as good as dead. Now they sin more and more. They use their silver to make statues of gods for themselves. Their statues come from their own clever ideas. Skillful workers make all of them. The people pray to their god, to these gods. They offer human sacrifices to them. They kiss the gods that look like calves. So these people will vanish like the morning mist. They will soon disappear like the early dew. They will be like straw that the wind blows around on the threshing floor. They will be like smoke that escapes through a window. The Lord says, People of Israel, I have been the only Lord your God ever since you came out of Egypt. You must not worship any God but me. You must not have any saviour except me. I took care of you in the desert. It was a land of burning heat. I fed them until they were satisfied. And then they became proud. They forgot all about me, so I will leave on them like a lion. I will hide and wait beside the road like a leopard. I will attack them like a bear that is robbed over her cubs. I will rip them wide open. Like a lion, I will eat them up. Like a wild animal, I will tear them apart. Israel, you will be destroyed. I helped you, but you turned against me. Where is your king? Wasn't he supposed to save me? Where are the rulers in all your towns? He said, Give us a king and princes. So I became angry and gave you a king. Then I took him away from me. The frame's guilt is piling up. I am keeping a record of all this. Is. They have suffered pain like a woman having a baby. They are like foolish children. It is time for them to be born, but they don't have the sense to come out of their mother's body. I will set these people free from the power of the grave. I will save them from death. Death, where are your plagues? Grave, where is your power to destroy? I will no longer pity Ephraim, even though they are doing well among the other tribes. Trouble will come to them. I will send a hot and dry wind from the east. It will blow in from the desert. Their springs will not have any water. Their wells will dry up. All their treasures will be taken out of their storms. The people of Samaria must pay for their sins. They have refused to obey me. <coughs> they will be killed by swords. Their little children will be smashed on the ground. Their pregnant women will be ripped wide open. Proverbs 10. Proverbs 9. <coughs> Wisdom is built in us. She has set up her seven. It's seven. She has prepared me a mixed one. She has also said to him. She has sent her to seven. She goes out from the highest point of the sea. She says, Let all who are charged come to my house. She says to those who have no sense. She says, Come and eat my food. Drink a wine and I have food. Leave a child of grace and you will live. Walk in the way of understanding. When you hurt someone who makes fun of others, you might be laughed. When you warn a sinner, you might get hurt. Don't warn those who make fun of others, or they will hate you. Warn those who are wise, and they will love you. Teach a wise person, and they will become even wiser. Teach a person who is right, and they will learn even more. If you want to become wise, you must begin by having respect and adore. To know the Holy One is to gain understand. Through wisdom, you will live a long time. Years will be added to your life. If you are wise, your wisdom will reward you. If you make fun of others, you alone will suffer. The will be called foolishness as well. She is childish and knows nothing. She sits at the door of her house. She sits at the highest point of the sea. She calls out to those who pass by. She calls out to those who go straight on their way. She says, Let all who are childish come to my house. She speaks to those who have no sense. She says, Stolen or dish me. For you need an secret taste good. But they don't know that dead people are there. They don't know that a guest are deep in the place of the dead. Psalm 101. <clears throat> I will sing about your love and fairness. Lord, I will sing praise to you. I will be careful to lead a life that is without blame. When will you come and help me? In my own home, I will lead a life that is without blame. I won't look at anything that is evil and call it good. I hate the acts of people who are unfaithful to you. I won't have anything to do with those things. I will stay away from those who start out with you. I won't have anything to do with what is evil. I will get rid of anyone who tells lies about their neighbor and see I won't put up with anyone whose eyes and heart are bright. I will look with favor on the faithful people in the land. They will live with me. Those who lies are without blame will serve me. No one lies and cheats will live. No one who lies and cheats will live in my house. No one who tells lies will serve me. Every morning I will get rid of all the sinful people in the land. I will move from the city of the Lord and new one who does all this evil. Now that's done, I shall now do the Lord's prayer. Please pray your hands. Our Father in heaven. 
Hello everyone, you can then come, you will be done on us as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, but give us our debts, as you rest for you in our debts. He is not to temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. See you tomorrow. Bye.